Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can fix the your connection is not private or secure error in Microsoft Edge. So let's get right into it. But first, let me explain a couple of things. Microsoft Edge is Microsoft's own web browser, which is integrated with all Windows 10 and 11 devices and it is used to browse the internet of course as with any web browser now uh it is uh, the successor to windows's or microsoft's internet explorer and it has a lot of similarities but it has a lot of differences and one of the similarities is ha it has is this your connection is not private error uh, the thing about this error is is that it is not tied to your web browser uh well it could be but it's not exclusive to microsoft edge and the fix is pretty much the same across the board for all browsers or at least these attempts at fixing the problem uh, some problems might arise if it's a client-side issue meaning your browser computer or 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 os is uh, interfering or when it's a problem with the website when it's expired the wrong domain and so on and so forth but yeah here are some of the fixes that you can try uh, you can try reloading the page you can manually proceed even though it's unsafe you have a button to do that uh, such as this here as you can see uh, then you can try to change to a different internet uh, source if you are in a public space and on a public network. Uh, check your computer's clock. If the time is wrong, it can uh, mess up some things uh, and you can adjust it if you would like. Uh, you can try incognito mode. That might help it. And you can also clear the cache and cookies, which is done in a couple of different ways, uh, which you can see depending on the browser you're using if it's microsoft edge uh, it is uh, i think uh, done within the troubleshooter in the windows system so you can check that out then you can try cleaning the ssl state uh, which uh, is just like cleaning your browser's cache and you do that by pretty much going into internet properties and cleaning the ssl state uh, and it should be found in the settings options. You can change the DNS servers, which is a bit too uh, complicated, I guess you could say. And those are just some fixes that I wanted to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.